Over there. No. Over there? Nope. Okay, well. I gotta fix it. We're all gonna hear it then. No, you're not. I'm not gonna. Well, it, it does. No matter what, it does. That's not fair to me. I'm just saying. You could have said that before I hit the button. <laughs> That doesn't help. <laughs> oh my God, I'm tired. Hey, hey. I look like shit today. Look at this. Oh my God. Yes, red. We're doing red tonight. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi, honey. Hi, Nicole. Hi, love. Hi, everybody. You guys, don't mind me. I'm so freaking tired. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I look like hell. I look like hell. Look at this. Puppy kept me up all night. No, she kept me up all morning, early in the morning. I was actually working all night. I was working all night and then I finally fell asleep and literally had like not even three hours of sleep. And then my puppy had to wake up and go to the bathroom. So ever since then, I've been up since like 6.30. Oh, my God. And now she's sleeping right here behind me. <laughs> she's sleeping behind me while she kept me awake up like all morning. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, Maria. Maria said hi. Hello. He said hello. Yes, share this on Facebook. How are the babies doing? Which ones? I have too many now. They're all doing great. Ours doesn't let us sleep. We sleep in shifts. Oh, lucky. At least, I'm, at least you sleep. Yeah, not really. In intervals. At least you guys sleep. I want sleep. I don't even know what the definition of sleep is anymore. What's sleeping mean? I need a dictionary. Dude, is it the camera or is there something below my eye? Like, I don't get it. Or is it just me hallucinating today? Oh, Lordy. Lordy! <laughs> a mini vacation. Oh, oh, I would love a mini vacation right now. I'm actually hopefully thinking about taking a mini vacation this weekend. You watch the back of your eyelids and they show you a movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm so tired. I don't know what sleep means. I don't. Oh. And this eye has been hurting me all day today. I don't know why. I think my eyes are mad at me for not letting them rest. I've been doing this all day today, you guys. I think it's allergies, too, because I have really bad allergies. So throughout the day, my eyes have been really watery and itchy, and especially this one. Oh. Sorry. This turned into an eye show. <laughs> we need to, I know my eyes are mad at me too. My body, my muscles, and my eyes are mad at me. My energy, everything. Yeah, 
because of the fucking allergies. You know, it doesn't help when you have a lack of sleep and then allergies kick in whenever the hell they want to. And if you notice the allergies kick in when you are about to have fun, go somewhere, do something cool, or just want to relax. Spa is needed. Oh, yeah. I'm going to definitely need one. They're saying I need a spa treatment, babe. My husband said, anytime I can get one. Whew. Anyways, what you guys been up to? How have you guys been? Wednesday. I, I have to check the dates now. This whole week has been freaking crazy. I'm losing track of my days. So today is Wednesday. I just confirmed it. <laughs> My nose likes to get clogged before I go to sleep. It's like it doesn't want me to breathe. No, no noses want you to breathe when you're trying to sleep. I'm trying to get paperwork turned in. Ugh. I hate the paperwork. I hate it. I had to do some for my kids' school this morning. I was like, really? I really have to do that? Ugh. I still did it, though. I had to. I had to, I'm, I'm getting them prepared and ready for fall for the school to start next month. Oh my God, look, even my necklace is going crazy. Turn around, whoops, wrong way. Turn around, there you go. Stay still, don't move. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Busy, long day at work, training a new hire. Oh, don't you just love that? Training a new hire, it's the best. I used to do that when I worked for my attorney. I ran the whole fucking office and I had to train new people and I was like, Arr. so annoying. I talk to objects, so do I. I don't talk to them, I yell at them. I'm like, God damn it, can't you do something right for once? Yeah. I talk to my dogs too. I'm like, can you guys stop barking every two seconds at the air? Right. She just agrees to agree. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> See? All right, I'm going to wait about three more minutes and then I'm going to start if people keep coming in. This is a subject <clears throat> I've been battling with whether I should talk about it or not talk about it because I made, I think, two, three, four videos on it and I still get emails about the subject. So I just figured I'm, I'm going to go live and clear the air. <laughs> with everybody when it comes to this subject. Um, I decided I'm also gonna do some live readings tonight. So if you guys want a live reading, it's gonna be $10 per question. My cash, cash tag for Cash App is in the title of this video. So if you guys want to have a question answered by me in general, I suggest you guys to donate 10 bucks, just $10, it's cheap. And then uh, I'll go ahead and answer your questions one by one. Basically doing a reading. Who else is over here? How's the weather, you guys? It's been crazy windy here. No rainstorm, but it's been crazy windy. The last two nights we've had a rainstorm. I don't know, about 8 o'clock, as soon as 8 o'clock rolls around, we have a crazy wind, rain for some fucking reason the last couple of days. Muggy. Yeah, it's been kind of muggy here, but it's so freaking hot.
Do I get a full reading to try to track my unknown father? Yeah, we can definitely get a full reading. I mean, one thing that people, well, some people know about it because they've been involved in it, the police department. <laughs> but um, I do actually work and help in finding missing people sometimes. Yep. Okay. Well, send me a text and I'll call you. Most likely tomorrow. I'll call you sometime tomorrow. See, that's another thing. When you guys send me an email and I call you back, I expect you to answer my phone call. A lot of bullshit excuse I get. Hey, Omar. What's up? Welcome. Hello, hello. Um, a lot of bullshit excuse I get is, oh, I didn't answer your call because I thought it was a telemarketer. How hard is it to just use your fingers, any fucking fingers, it's not going to break any bones in your fingers, and just hang up if it's a telemarketer. I, I don't waste my time just sitting here calling people. I really don't. I'll call you maybe once or twice. You don't answer. I'm done. I move on to the next one. I don't waste my time. I'm not desperate. When you guys ask for my help, even if you don't recognize a phone number, common sense, answer your phone when you email somebody with your phone number to contact you. I don't leave voicemails for the most part. I don't play phone tag. Don't have time for that. And I definitely don't do uh, email chats. So make sure you include your phone number. Thank you. Answer your phone and include your phone number. It's common sense, right? Just like you would do when you're inquiring about any other business, you leave your phone number. Same thing with me. When you don't leave your phone number to me, is that you're not serious and I don't respond back. And then you can go back and say, Monica is so mean. She's so rude. She never replied back because you didn't leave your phone number. Duh, common sense. So yeah, that's when I become rude and mean and kind of bitchy because I don't have time for games. I don't know who texted me. Someone texted me, but I can't check right now. Anyways. Someone came behind you because I left. <clears throat> what, baby? What? You want to say hi to people? Okay. We'll let her say hi before I start my video. Say <laughs> hi, Pookie. That's Santana. Say hi, Santana. I love her so much. She's my baby. My daughter's baby, actually. Hey, Florida. Oh, Florida, I'm glad you came on. I need to talk to you real quick. Right after I put my baby to sleep on me. So, um, I read... <coughs> Florida, I read... Um, the comment that you put on my video last night, which is really cool. Um, the only thing that I ask for, not just from you, but from everybody, is um, when you guys leave a comment, especially regarding my husband or anybody that's involved in my video or whoever we talk about or I talk about, my shoulder is not a chew toy, my love. Thank you. Um, make sure you guys correct and double check your writing. Um, and it did kind of bother me a little bit when I read saying, when you said something about that bitch from last night, when, when I did the live video about her talking shit about me and I exposed her <clears throat> and she said I had a girlfriend and the comment that 
was written was, well, maybe my husband looked like a girl because he had long hair. You might want to rewrite that. And I know your intention was not towards my husband looking like a girl because he has long hair, because he's not the only man in this world that has long hair. I know a lot of men and family members that have longer hair. So you might want to reward, rewrite that and, and word it a little bit differently. Because my husband doesn't look like a girl. <clears throat> she was taking crap. Yeah, well, no, I understand that. But, I mean, it just, it kind of sounded a little weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounded like you were the one that was saying it, not her. But now, I, I get it because I did discuss it with my husband. And my husband's like, it doesn't bother me. But it kind of did bother me a little bit because, I mean, a, a way to toward it is she was trying to make fun of him because he has long hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help out. That's all. I just want people to reread what they write in their comments about my loved ones before they send it. That's all. I'm not mad. I'm just letting you know my feelings. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of men. My, my husband had short hair for the longest time. Um, he just recently started growing his hair the last two years. So, you know, I don't mind. To me, he doesn't look like a girl. I think it's sexy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it's hot. So, that's all. I'm not bashing or attacking anybody. Just, you know, all, I, all I'm asking is just double check your writing before you send it. Because, you know, sometimes what you mean doesn't show up in the writing. Omar said he thinks it's sexy too. He has long hair. But hmm? Omar said he thinks it's sexy too. He has long hair too and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I don't give a yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I know. I'm not mad at you, girl. I'm not mad at you at all. I was just letting you know. Not just you, but just everybody. You know. My wife likes it. Everybody like in it. general, like when you guys are doing your comments, I know what your intentions are. Trust me. Like I personally know, but somebody else reading it is going to take it a whole different way. That's all I'm saying. But regardless, I'm not going to dwell on that. It's not a big deal. Let's move on. I don't like to dwell on shit. Babe, I'm going to dwell on the empty pad. Oof, hold on. Found you. It should be right there. Found it. All right, you guys ready? <gasps> Where's my lighter? Oh, found it. See, I start screaming before I find stuff. I know, man. I'm so jealous. My husband's hair looks healthier than mine. Of course, he never colored his hair. So, of course, the original hair is going to look better. Mine is like, I colored it. I damaged it. It keeps falling off. Ugh. And look at this. I can't even get it to fucking stay straight without moving around. Yeah. Men's hair, for some reason, I'm really jealous of them. How the fuck do you guys keep a nice looking hair? How? Like my, my husband comes out of the shower, doesn't have to blow dry his hair, doesn't have to straighten it. All he does is just brushes it and that's it. And then it comes apart like this, like Jesus' hair. You know how Jesus' hair is? Swear to fucking God, that's how his hair is. It comes apart like this, naturally straight, and it goes down like this. 
I shower. I'm standing in front of the fucking mirror with my fucking hair straightener for five hours trying to make it look like the way his fucking hair is. I'm like, ah, how do you do it? That's not fair. Try using henna to dry your hair. It's because they don't kill it like we do. You're right. You're right. We fucking butcher our hairs. Someone told me that they don't use, they don't use all the products we use. Yes, I know, I know, I know. We kill our fucking hairs. It's what we use in the Middle East to color it. He doesn't have to do anything. That's the secret to beauty. I know, that's all I'm saying, man. Like, it's not fair. How do men have normal, natural hair, and then we have to sit in front of a goddamn fucking mirror for hours for trying to fix it? Sis, you don't even have to go there. I know what the fuck you do with your hair. You don't listen to what I tell you. But I still like your hair, though. I love the colors you do on your hair. I do. Better colors than what I fucking do sometimes. How does henna work? I feel like women have better hair. No, 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 Omar, Omar, no, no, no. You're fired. You're fired. You're wrong. No, we don't have better hair. Trust me. Our health, hair quality, texture, it all went down the drain when we were 16 and we decided to fucking mess with our hair and thought it was cool at the time. And as a plant, you know, mix with water. Well... Remind me, Omar, because send me an email, monicaspiritqueen.com. Send me an email. I need to know the secret and what plant you're talking about. We, we, I need to get that plant. Males have way better hair. Yes, they do. I add hibiscus, hibiscus juice to make it more. <clears throat> oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Omar, contact me. You and I need to have a talk about hair. You and I need to have a talk about hair. Seriously. That is sitting in your hair for 24 hours. I found my personal hair hair person right now. You could dye your nails and skin with it. No, I don't want to dye my skin with it. I'm happy with my skin color. Thank you very much. Just my hair. <laughs> Just my hair. Um, I need help to hook me up. <laughs> He's not going to hook anybody up with henna. He's just going to hook up us hook us up with the information and then we're going to go get him. I'm going to go get him. You trust me. I'm going to go get him. I'm happy with my skin color. Maybe my, you know, well, my nails are fine. My nails are fine. My natural nails are fine. I just get them done. They're fine. Thank God. Knock on wood. They're fucking healthy. It's my hair. My freaking hair. I can't help my grays coming out. Every fucking month my grays are out. The last few months I haven't fucking touched my hair. I haven't colored it because I said, who the fuck am I going to please? I don't give a shit. I'm just going to fucking go out in public, blonde hair, gray streaks. Yeah, that's my new fashion for a little bit, okay? For now, that's my new fashion. I really don't care. As long as I still look good, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I use avocado oil. You know what? Let me have the phone. I need the phone. Hold on. I need to make an important phone call. Ah. Oh, son of a bitch. Sorry. Sorry. Love you. Hold on. One sec. I need to make an important phone call. One sec. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. Who was it? My daughter. Oh. I'm not ignoring my kids. Even at live, I, I, I pause it. What is Hi, my love. Sorry, I'm live right now. I couldn't answer. What's up? No, no, no. You're fine. What happened? I'll go in the other room. Hold on. You guys, one sec. I need to talk to my daughter. Give me two seconds. My kids are more important. Sorry. Love you. Hold on. I'm going to go in the other room. Babe, talk to them.
try. Hold up. Okay. Are you at the store? Okay. Keep me updated. I love you. Alright. Bye, baby. Sorry. Yeah, you can have your phone back. Sorry. Yeah. See what I do for my kids? I put everybody on hold. I talked to them the whole time for you. You did? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. What did you guys talk about? Yeah, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hold on. I dye my feet in it. It's very healthy for your skin, too. You dye your feet? I never heard of that. You got to give me that info. I like the color of my skin. I don't know if I dye my feet in it. I'll use it on my skin as long as it doesn't change my skin color because I like my skin color. I got gray hair. I have gray hair too. I feel your pain. What was her email again? I'm going to email her now. MonicaSpiritQueen.com. It's my website. Scroll all the way down at the bottom where it has your uh, the section where you put your information, name, phone number, info, um, and your phone number so I can call you. Me and Omar have a personal business to discuss after this when it comes to hair now. Same thing as hair. Just dye your plastic bags. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My feet need uh, my feet need some treatment too. They're perfect. I love my feet. They're perfect, but um I don't I don't mind um feet spa once in a while. <laughs> I have to wash my hair before doing it. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I wash my hair all the time. No products in it, just raw hair. Okay. I rinse really well when I use my shampoo and conditioner. You liar! They said you didn't even talk to them at all. What? They ratted on you. You yeah, did no. not even talk to them at all. The microphone must have went out. The microphone does not go off. I'll send her an email. She can share it. Yes, I'll definitely share your product here. Yep, yep, yep. I'll 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 give you guys the next the information the next time I go live. You know what? <clears throat> My daughter got a henna tattoo um last year on her hand. She got the tattoo on her hand, yes. My hair is 90% gray. Okay. I'll go to your website now. Okay. Woo! Okay, now we're And the tattoos are so pretty. Yes, my daughter, my oldest daughter got the henna tattoo. I mean, it stayed for a good long amount of time, actually, for a while. I mean, it slowly started washing off, which is fine, but it was really good. Definitely. All right. Are you guys ready to talk about adult stuff now? Hey, Jesse, welcome. They said that you're funny on the mic. Yeah. He has his headphones on. He can't hear me. Yeah. What? They said you're really funny on the mic. See, I was talking the whole time. No, you weren't. I was telling you. <laughs> no, you weren't. You emailed me. Hold on. Okay. I got your email. Got it. Got it. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Don't try to cover up for my husband. I know he didn't talk to you guys. Get out. He's under your pillow trying to get. He's under your pillow trying to get. 
Make sure she doesn't. She found your hiding spot. You found my hiding look, spot? She's digging her nose. Look, look. She's digging her no! nose. No! I have under. stuff under there she cannot have. No, no, now, her nose under. now she gets to stay with me. We'll put her down. No, she's, she's with bad. me now. She's with me now. She's so bad. Nope. My little, my little pit. Say hi. Say hi. She's only seven months, I mean, seven weeks old. Say hi. We're about to talk. We're about to talk about adult stuff and you can't hear it. You can't hear it because it's not for you. What's up, Eggman? Good, how are you? Yeah, she's my baby. Call me around this time I get off late at work. Text me before calling though. Oh, thanks for your instructions on how to contact you. <laughs> I'll let you know. She's my little pit bull. She's a snuggle bunny. But you can't hear the adult talk, so you have to go bye-bye. You have to go bye-bye. I'm going to send her to a, uh, to the spiritual realm, and then I'll bring her back when I'm done. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. Mwah. Okay. Go down and play. Whew. Okay. Ready, you guys? Stop. You got your unemployment you benefits refunded? Way? Hell yeah, Eggman. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Finally, about time, right? Awesome. Congrats. Cool little pig. Yeah, she's a blue and a red nose mix. Her mom is a blue nose. Her dad is a red nose. And I adopted her a couple of days ago for my daughter. My daughter's always wanted a pit bull. So my kids get what they want. As you can tell, they get what they want every time. All right, so let's get started on this video because we have spent 32 minutes on hair talking, which is awesome. Next time you guys see me, maybe my hair is going to look a lot better. I don't fucking know. We'll see what Omar tells me about my hair and what I could do about it. <laughs> Anyways, so I rock. Oh, thank you. I try. I try, I try. I try to be nice as much as I can to people I like. <laughs> and I like you guys very much. All right. So, we'll manifest it together. Right on. Awesome. Can't wait. All right. So, my title that attracted many of you guys to my video um, later at work. Okay, pop in later, Eggman. I see you let. I see you later. Be safe. Um, what the fuck was my title? Mm -hmm. Sex with spirits, right? Because I had like three other titles in my mind. I was like, what am I gonna talk about? Um. So, was it sex with spirits? Because that was on my mind. Because that's what people have been questioning me about lately. And I wanted to answer some of you guys' questions. Somebody answer my question. Was it sex with spirits? What's my title? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We have a live one in the house. Thank you, Omar. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me about, is it safe to have sex with spirits? What about if, if it's a demon? What if I contact a spirit to have sex with me? Um, number one... Number one, why in the fuck names heaven's and hell's name put together would somebody fucking want to have sex with the spirit? I just want to know. Um, especially if uh, when I get emails about people that have a significant other, other either their boyfriend, girlfriend, um, husband, wife, fiance, or even just um, friends with benefits. So you have all that. I want to know why the fuck do people want to have sex with spirits? Okay? That just blows my mind. And the reason for that is um, 
what's really, really sad, and, and I'm going to use the word pathetic, is when people contact me telling me, um, asking me if it's the right thing to do because they feel the good parts, the pleasure of it, and then they feel um, not so pleasure of it as if in being pinned down, not being able to move, not being able to do anything and to end the session until the spirit himself or herself is done with pleasuring itself with you. Why would you want to put yourself in that position, be a victim of, and I'm going to say this word, rape? That's basically what it is. Okay. And I'm going to give you guys some scenarios. Um, hey, Daryl, welcome. So I'm going to give you guys some intel on this. You know, I'm in a boxing ring right now. I got to get ready on this shit. When it comes to calling upon a spirit to manifest themselves, and before I go into any details, viewer discretion advised, any child on this video right now, I suggest you to click off and go watch Spongebob. Okay? This isn't for you. Viewer discretion advice. This is for 21 years and older. Not even 18 because 18 year olds are still kids. 21 and over. Because I'm going to get into some fucking details right now. And I'm expecting some really hefty, nice donations while I'm talking to you guys about this. Because this is some information that fake psychics will not tell you. When it comes to having sexual encounters with spirits. Mike, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Your mom's going to give us a peep show in two seconds if you don't get off my shit. Fucking faggot. Uh, Rhiannon, get rid of Mike right now before my husband shows him what a peep show is. Fucking faggot. Anyways, so when it comes to sex with spirits, it's not, um, it's not a normal sensation. It's not something normal that people would have as if in you would have sex with a, a physical person. Okay. Um, Thank you. Block his bitch ass. Babe, I need your phone. Mm. What? Um, this faggot Mike asked if I'm going to give him a peep show, and I told him, no, his bitch ass mom is going to. I'll give him a peep show. I got a peep show for him. Yep. Fix him out. Oh, you, he's lucky my husband didn't hear that part. Uh, Rihanna said he's gone. She fucked him up. I got a peep show for I him. I hate faggots like that. Get the fuck off my page. If he kept going, my fucking demons would have had his mom he's got fucking a peep show. Down the peep show. Of it though. Yeah, he would have met the fucking barrel of my shotgun. I got a peep show for him, all right. So let's go back to what we were talking about. I don't give a shit about this little bitch. Um, so when it comes to sex with spirits, again, oh, wow. it's not a regular sensation. It does turn aggressive, it does turn physical abuse a lot of times. Um I just recently had somebody contact me a couple of weeks ago, actually multiple people, with the same scenario, almost identical to the same stories that they were giving me. Well, you know, I, I'm a single person and I'm contacted and I'm lonely and this and that. That's what's really sad and, and pathetic about society these days is um, they are contacting spirits, not just to put... Um, spiritual black magic on people, not just to put demonic attachments on people, but on top of that, they're contacting spirits to have sex with them. It is not something safe and it's not something that I recommend anybody to do. Now, with the people that I've already spoken with and people I haven't spoken with, but I did read their emails, again, very, very similar scenarios. And these people don't even know each other. They're completely from different 
states and a different country. And they come, they keep telling me the same shit. Well, at first I thought it was cool. I'm a single guy. I'm a single girl. I'm single this and single that. And I, you know, I just wanted to have some fun. So I conjured up, I opened up a portal. I conjured up a demon or and in most cases, they don't even say demon. I say demon, but they say, oh, wait, the spirit comes to me and um, they make me feel really, really good. But recently I found out that um, I've been experiencing the fact that I can't move until the spirit is done with me. Do you guys not hear what you're telling me? Do you guys not hear the words coming out of your own fucking mouth? You cannot move until the spirit is done with you. What does that tell you? It's not considered sex with spirits anymore. It's considered sexual assault and rape. And to clear the air with every fucking person right now, share my video on Facebook, Twitter, wherever the fuck you guys, you know, come from and whatever you guys have, share it and tag me on it. I want to see it as well. And, and stop being dead. Literally fucking do it. Because this is, this is something that people have to fucking hear about. And it's starting to really irritate me with their ignorance. Telling me, oh, it feels so good. But at the same time, I notice it's getting aggressive. It's progressing to other shit. Um, I'm not able to move. Well, you know what? It's for, forceful sex, which equal, equals to um, sexual assault and rape. That's pretty much what it is. You are opening up yourself to demons. A good spirit, a good spirit, a positive spirit will never, ever, ever come through to have sex with you. Never in a million fucking years will come and have sex with you. It is the demonic attachments, the demons that you call upon yourselves you put your own life at risk. I'm not answering any questions right now, so hold off on your questions because I got to get through this. They come through to have sex with you, but it's not called sex on their end, okay? It's called taking advantage of you because you are willingly opening yourself up to them. And these demons that you so-called want to do fucking research on before contacting me and asking for my help, which is fine, do your research. But just to let you guys know, there's a lot of fucking sickos out there, a lot of fake psychic mediums out there, especially the Satanists, okay? People, you, a lot of people get information from Satanists that come out saying, it's okay. It's just perfectly fine. You can call upon spirits and they'll come have sex with you. But what they don't tell you is what kind of spirits come through to have sex with you. That's what they don't tell you. And these are demons that are coming through, molesting you. You think it's fun and fucking games until one day you get sick of it? You think you could say no to them? You can't say no to them. Do you know why? Because you invited them. You opened yourself up to them. And when you try to turn them away, there's hell to pay. There's consequences. You're either going to pay with your fucking life, with your fucking soul, with your family, with your friends, with your kids, with your financial status, with your fucking job. You're going to pay for it once in one way or another. Because they're going to make you pay for it. And I'm not talking out of my fucking ass. This is the reason why I'm making a video. Because there's a lot of fucking dumbasses out there that tell me the same shit. For years and years and years, I've been hearing the same bullshit. And then when I talk to them on the phone, they make me look like I don't have any knowledge. They have all the experience in the world. Okay, so why the fuck are you contacting me for help? You're wasting my time. I'm calling you to fucking find out what's going on so I can help you. And then you're telling me, well, I'm going to go ahead and continue to do my research. Bitch, go ahead and do your fucking research. I don't give a shit. Why are you contacting me? Why are you emailing me? Why are you wasting my time? I take serious inquiries only. If you're not serious about getting my fucking help, if you're not serious about getting raped in your fucking ass, then why are you contacting me?
because that's exactly what these motherfuckers are doing to you. And the more you fucking resent them and the more you fucking reject them and the more you push them away, the more they're going to come and try to do shit for, for on you. They're going to start fucking raping you when you're sleeping. Asleep. You're going to wake up with your fucking vagina or your dick hole hurting, your butthole hurting where you can't walk. You wake up with bruises on your inner thigh and you don't know where the fuck it comes from. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep scrolling. Go, go to, go to a fake fucking page. I could tell three fucking people left because they're fucking pussies. They don't want to hear the truth. This is just me. This is who I am. This is how I am. And I'm not going to change. Go continue going. I don't give a fuck because I'm done with fucking stupid brainless people. If you're going to contact me for help, you're going to be fucking be serious. Otherwise you could keep fucking getting raped in the ass at night. I don't give a shit. Go to a fucking fake psychic that's going to fucking get you hurt even more. And that's not the that's not the best part. The best part is they're going to go after your loved ones and your fucking family. They're going to go after your fucking kids. You want your fucking kids to get hurt like that? You want them to get sexually molested? Because that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, someone else just left. Bye, bitch. Get the fuck out. In Armenian, we say siktid. Get the fuck out. We don't need piece of shit fucking low lives here anyway. Little pussies that can't handle the truth. That's where I come from. I speak the truth. The reason why I'm so fucking straightforward is because I actually help people. I actually do something about it. I actually get rid of the fucking attachments that you're serious about me getting rid of. And no, I don't talk shit to those who are serious about it. I talk shit to those who think they're fucking clowns working in a circus. And you know what? I don't, I'm not part of that fucking group. I'm not. So yeah, I am a straightforward bitch. You're fucking damn right. I help people. As long as you're serious about getting my help instead of acting like a fucking clown, I'm going to help you. But don't try to play me for a fucking fool. Don't try to contact me saying, well, this isn't happening to me, but you know what? So far, it's so good. Well, so far, it's so good. Then why the fuck are you contacting me for? Why do you need my help? What fucking, what do you think I'm going to do? Fucking enhance your fucking sexuality with the spirit? Are you that stupid? Hey, Care Bear, what's up? Can spirits be sent from someone else? Yeah, they absolutely can. Absolutely. A lot of people get attachments due to others doing that to them. Absolutely. No, Je Jesse, they can't. They can't handle the truth and they don't even have the boss to say bye. <laughs> I'm going to cry about it. Hey, Sebu. Yes, I am 100% real. That's why people come to me. You know, the only reason why I talk shit is I only talk shit to those who are brainless. That's it. Ask my clients. I'm the sweetest fucking person, the most understanding person when it comes to my clients. And yeah, you know, at times I do fucking yell at them because they do shit they're not supposed to after I tell them not to do. And that's the only reason I yell at them. But... If I don't yell at somebody, that means I don't give a shit. The only reason why I yell is because I care. Because I fucking, you know, I have such a big heart that sometimes, you know, just like your mom and dad yell at you to get your attention to do something, right? When you were little and you were growing up. That's the same way with me. I yell at people to get their attention, to direct them back into the right track of where they're supposed to be going. But I'm going to have to put this shit on hold for one second. Yes, dear. No, he's not okay because I'm not going to talk about the topic while he's in here. What happened? Your laptop again? It keeps going blue screen. I turned it off. Okay, when I'm done, I'll check it out.
Sorry, I can't talk about that kind of shit in front of my kid. Um, Rachel, I don't even know if I'm saying your name right. Um, I don't know why YouTube is blocking your comments. You might have said a trigger word that YouTube doesn't like, and it could be blocking like cuss, cuss words and stuff. Like it's, it's funny cause I could say any cuss word I want, but as far as the chat goes and any comments after like in, in my videos, <clears throat> they don't allow bad words. Am I good? So, um, Monica got a new subscriber. Oh, thank you. Demoness Samsara helps her transition. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, appreciate your new subscription. So yeah, that's pretty much, you know, and, and it's so funny because people come in and, and tell other people, oh, don't go to Monica. She's so mean. She's so rude. She's such a bitch. Well, what did you do to piss me off? That's what I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Again, when you contact me for help, I'm here to help you. I call you. I sit here. I talk to you. I understand what you're saying. I book you in for a reading. We take the next step. We fix your problem. Boom, 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 boom. Everything goes smoothly. But when I get emails about people contacting me telling me, Monica, I need your help. This is my situation. I call them back and they tell me, I said, so what happened? How long ago did it start? When did it start? How did it start? What did you do? What did somebody else do? Blah, 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 blah. I start asking questions to get to the bottom of it. So that way I know that I'm on the right track with you. And then I book you in for a reading. And then I do the reading myself while you shut up so I could find out what's going on on my end. And then we take the next step and fix it, right? Simple as that. But when you are contacting me, number one, my biggest pet peeve is contacting me without a phone number. Common fucking sense. Common sense. I know common sense is free. I know a lot of people can't afford a lot of things these days, which is understandable because of the fucking administration that's going on that's fucking everything up. But at the same time, common sense is free, okay? When you are contacting somebody, make sure you leave your fucking phone number. Phone number. Common sense. Don't just send me a fucking email. Expect me to do email chat for the billionth, zillionth, trillionth, God, billion time. God knows how many times I've said this in my fucking videos. Don't email me without a phone number. Is that loud enough? Is that? No, I have to. I have to scream because when I talk not normal, people don't understand. Phone number. Okay, I, I think people got it. All the way up and that ring my ear. Sorry. I think, uh, well, two people got scared like a little bitch and took off. But that's what it is. Okay? Common sense. Again, I, uh... email me with your phone number. Number two, when I call you, answer your phone. A lot of people tell me, oh, I thought it was a telemarketer. Did your fingers break? You can't click off and turn off your fucking phone. Hang up. If it is a telemarketer. Again, common sense. When I get an email and you're expecting somebody to call you back, me, answer your phone. I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear excuses. I'm done. Once or twice I call you, that's it. That's it. Go to someone fake. I'm refusing my services to you when you don't answer my call. And it's a 702 area code, and I mentioned this a billion times as well. Okay? And number three, when I call you for help, don't sit there and say, oh, well, I, I, I did my own thing and I think it worked. Then why are you contacting me? Why are you wasting my time? If you're going to do your own shit that's going to help you, then why are you calling? Why are you emailing me? Why? Do your own shit. You damn well know it's not going to work, so you're going to end up calling me, contact me anyway. So do your own shit. Another thing, don't call me. Don't, do not ever call me. I'm going to yell at you. That's one thing that I'm going to yell at you about on top of many other shit that people do that's like common sense stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't call me. Either send me a text message or send me an email and I will give you a call at my earliest convenience because 
I am busy. I have clients from around the universe, the fucking universe. So don't call me. Either myself or my husband is going to answer and yell at you. And then you're going to cry and go on Google or Facebook or wherever and say that I'm a mean bitch. It doesn't affect me. Go for it. I don't care. Go to Twitter. Cry about it. So those are my stipulations and my rules when it comes to running my business on my terms and conditions and my times. Okay, so now that we got that straightened out, let's go back to sex with spirits. Again, it's not something that people should be doing. It might seem fun and cool and pleasurable, as people call it. But it's not going to be fun and cool and pleasurable after you get tired of it. And you want them to stop because they're not going to stop. And I'm speaking out of experience from other people's cases that I've been handling for the last 17 fucking years of my life. So when it comes to you not wanting that anymore, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep doing it. They're going to get aggressive. They're going to get worse. When you are sleeping, they're going to take advantage of you when you're sleeping. And then they're going to go after everybody else in your circle. Everybody that you associate with, especially living under the same roof as yours. And if you live by yourself, good luck with your family members and your friends and your coworkers. Because that's what they do. They attach themselves not just to you, but they start affecting everybody else around you. So no, it's not cool. It's not fun and games to do this. And never, ever, ever does a good spirit ever come around to do that kind of shit. It's always a dark, demonic entity. That's what happens when a lot of people do dark rituals. Doing dark rituals, people include sex in it with demons. And it gets worse and worse and worse. To a point where you fucking hate your life because you can't stand the fact that you have something attached to you, watching you. And even throughout the day, they're going to try to fondle you and touch you and molest you at work, in your car at home, at a party, anywhere you are, they're going to do that. I think it's so funny how some people don't want to hear the fucking truth. It's pathetic. This is the fucking reality we're living in these days. People are so sensitive about what we talk about. They're so sensitive about the truth. When they do fucked up shit like this and we sit here trying to help them, they don't fucking want to hear it. Then don't fucking hear it. You're on the wrong page. Kick rocks. This is me. This is who I am. I'm here to fucking help people that are seriously in trouble. That really need my help and are asking for it. And I'm a whole different person when it comes with my clients. Trust me. I'm a bitch online because I make my points across to make it clear for all the brainless ones. But when it comes to my clients, oh, trust and believe. I'm a whole different person. Yeah, when someone cusses in the comments, it says under review. Um, the way that my account is set up with YouTube YouTube actually protects creators like me who have a channel and um, they actually monitor for me. So they're basically like my moderators behind the scenes, if it makes sense.
Thank you for being you. Hey, Eric, what's up? You're very welcome. Thank you for joining me. Whoa, prophets of rage. Yep. Sometimes you got to, hun. Sometimes you got to. Hey, kid. Thought I'd say hey real quick. I got a minute. Got to go back to work. Take care of some business. How you doing? And how's the family? What's up, Eric? I still haven't heard back from you. What's going on with you, man? You were supposed to uh, contact me. Let me know when you're ready for my help. How can one prevent this rape? You contact me, Omar. I personally, physically, get rid of the attachment, whatever's doing that to you. Don't conjure up a spirit, end of story. Thank you, period. Is that why Jill Janice killed herself? Who's Jill Janice? Remind me, please. Do you know who Jill Janice is? Hmm? Jill Janice? Mm -mm. J-A-N-U-S? Janice? Who's that? Remind me, please. My pleasure. I always great listening to you. And I hope you and the family are doing well. We are actually, Eric. Thank you. We're doing really well. Singer of Huntress. I don't think I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've heard of her. She's a singer of Huntress? You know what, hun? I'm going to look into that. Um, thank you for letting me know. I'm actually going to look into that. Um, Rihanna, can you take a screenshot of that name, please? Please, 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 and send it to me when we're done. So that way I can... Janice Joplin? No, uh, Jill Janice. No, never heard of her. From... She's a singer of Huntress? Huh. That's a research I can do. Thank you. Just gave me something else to do tonight. Wow. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Huh? So lucky you. Lucky you what? Huh? What'd you do? What do you mean lucky you? Where's my puppy? I shoot her out. You shout her out? Yeah. Oh lordy. She's playing for the door. Okay, cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> so yeah, basically overall, um, when it comes to spirituality, spirituality is very tricky. Um, it's not all fun and and roses and fun and games and sunshine and, you know, what people think it is. It, it's very, 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 very tricky. And you guys have to be careful with what you do, what you conjure up. Um, I do mentoring. I have mentoring classes if you guys want to know more about spirituality i'll be happy to book you in my classes if you guys want um if you have anything anything that has to do with spirituality let me know i mean fuck i've been doing this for a long time is it possible to have a generational curse for a long time and how would you take care of that good question eric it's very possible i do until today for many 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 years <laughs> Um, until today, and I'm sure it's going to go until the rest of my life, I have clients contacting me, people contacting me about generational curses. Yes, it is very, very, very possible to have a generational curse. Um, and I work with that as well. I actually take care of them and break them as well. You jacked it. Leave it like that. Don't brighten it up. What? What? I said leave it like that. Don't brighten the screen I up. I can't. That means it's No, because it's, it's fucking up my shit. That means it's about to turn off. It's fucking up my shit. Okay, the remote's about to go off. And then well, can't you, turn the, so can't you turn the TV off then? Yeah, so I guess that. Okay, so hit that and then just turn the TV off and then just check every five minutes. I'm not shit. Okay, guys, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to shower. Glad I joined you today. Subscribed a few years ago, but this live video showed up randomly in my feed. Aw. Well, thanks for joining me, Omar, and I'll definitely keep in touch. And I need to get some uh, hair info with my, you know, 
products and shit. Holy crap. My only worry is like my hair keeps falling. And I think it's because of bleaching so much. So now that I've said what I had to say about demonic attachments that like to take advantage of you guys sexually. Um, let's see. I'm debating if I should do re readings right now like I did before. You guys want me to do live readings? My my cash tag, Monica Spirit Queen 143 at Cash App is in the title. And it's ten dollar per question I would take in to do a reading for you guys. Or you can contact me and I could book you in for a full hour reading. That's completely up to you guys what you want to do. Trying to see if I missed any questions real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to look into Jill Janice. Definitely. Now I'm really curious. Thank you, sis. <clears throat> Do you guys have any questions about sex with spirits? I'll take questions now, but as far as readings, we could do readings as well. And it's really, uh, it's really sad how many people are falling for the spiritual side as far as you know wanting attention from a spirit instead of a human being um and just to let you guys know you're not going to go and get <clears throat> or call upon a good spirit to give you that attention especially the sexual part It is possible to open up your spiritual doors, Eric. I call them spiritual doors. Um, again, going back to last night when I went on my live, I was telling people, and I said this many times in my videos, I don't put labels on spirituality with every little thing, like clairvoyant, chakras, third eye, all that shit. Um, and you know, I don't go by the books. I make it very simple. I break it down simple to people. Either you're spiritual or you're not. Either your spiritual doors are open or they're not. So as far as your third eye goes, um, it just, in my dictionary, which a lot of people go by these days to make it easier on people, it's your spiritual doors. So yeah, it is possible to open up your spiritual doors. But the only thing is, when you open up your spiritual doors, you're not just going to communicate with good spirits. You're going to come in contact with the good, the bad, the ugly, the in-between. Once your spiritual doors are open, you don't get to decide what spirits you talk to all the time. You can pick and choose if you want and communicate with that spirit, but along comes with other shit that you don't want to encounter with or see or anything like that. And you're going you're gonna to have it all. You're going to experience it all once your doors are open. How many of those sex spirits can be on a person? As many as they want. That's a really good question. As many as they want. As many co that comes through. Just depends the type of portal that you open. Depends um, where the portal that you open goes all the way through to which dimension. Again, just like I said last night, there's six dimensions in a spiritual realm. So it just depends. Um, most of those 
entities that are really, really strong come from fifth and sixth dimension, which are really dark and strong entities, demons. I'm embarrassed by my wife keeps telling me she has a reoccurring sex dream with a good looking man, looking like a man from Hallmark. And she's wondering what that means. <laughs> That's a question for me to look into for a reading, honey. And there's nothing embarrassing about that. Don't be embarrassed about that. I can definitely do a reading on that and find out exactly where that dream's coming from or who that person is where, or where it's coming from or why is it going in her dream. It could simply, simply just mean that she straightforward is fantasizing about somebody, some other man, or maybe, and, and nothing against you, Eric. I'm just, this is my opinion. I'm, I'm not doing a reading right now, so I can't tell you for sure until I do a reading, but my opinion might be, or my thoughts, um, maybe she's fantasizing about somebody that's really, really good looking, hallmark, like you said, great body, this and that, and she wants you to look like that person, so she just keeps dreaming about it. I don't know. Or she could have watched a movie or show or seen some somebody like that and it just keeps replaying in her mind because it just that she's stuck with that person i don't know you might want to ask your wife what she thinks of it or why she keeps dreaming um but i'd be happy to do a reading and find out where it comes from is there ways to protect yourself if spiritual doors are open meaning I try to connect with my ancestors and spirit guides. Yes, there are definitely ways to protect yourself. There are ways to control it. There are ways to turn it off and on the spiritual side. Sorry, you guys, my eyes keep itching. I have really bad allergies. But um, there are definitely ways that you can protect yourself uh, and keep yourself protected. Absolutely. And still communicate with spirits. But again, like I said, the spirituality is really, really tricky. You, you just have to learn how to balance it. And, um, and if you do come across a bad spirit, you have to know how to handle that as well. But once your spiritual doors are open, you're going to encounter everything, not just the good. And this is the honest truth. You get to be my age. Oh, you'd be lucky if her spirit is even stops. Bye to say hi. Oh, shut up, Eric. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, God. Eric's really cool, you guys. I got to talk to him on the phone, and he's, he's actually super cool. He's a really cool guy. But you know what, Eric? Age has nothing to do with it. Age has nothing to do with it. I mean, fuck, look at me. Look at my husband. We encountered so many, so many, huh? So many different. Remember who Eric is, right? A couple of weeks ago when I talked to him. The one that believes in everything we believe in. Yeah. Yeah, now he remembers. Yep. The cool guy. <laughs> the cool man. And Eric, you're not even that old. You're only about 180. That's okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Yes, and we have the equipment. You never know what, Uncle. Uh, I'm not even going to get into NASA. Thank you for your time. Have a great night. You're welcome, Eric. Like I said, I'm here anytime you need a reading. I'd be happy to book you in and help you out. Just go to monicaspiritqueen.com and please leave your phone number. Please. Please. Oh, no. Please, we're not talking about NASA and aliens and all this shit right now, please. Actually, I'll tell you what. You guys keep talking about that. I'll be right back. I gotta go pee. You guys talk about NASA and aliens. <laughs> I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. I'll be right back. Get up.
No lo da, hermana. Got 39 minutes left. Got 39 minutes left. All right, guys, she's back. You didn't even talk to them. Nice try. I've been talking to them the whole time. What the hell is that? I'll go. Yeah, please go. I'm done talking. My jaw hurts. Okay. Sorry, guys. I was trying to take care of the right. little you. munchkins, too. I entertained him the entire time. For you. Oh, you did? Was he a good entertainer or is he fibbing hey. again? <laughs> oh, Lordy. Thank you, my entertainer. No problem, anytime. You do know that I could go back and watch this video, right? <laughs> you were here on the toast. Snack time. time, yes. It's lunch break. Pee pee time. <laughs> Kurt said yes, pee pee time. We'll just wait right here. <laughs> What's up, Kurt? Commercial break, yes. I stumbled. On your channel by accident do you have a Facebook or Instagram yes I do I have an Instagram and a Facebook and it's Monica spirit queen everything on social media is Monica spirit queen 
What's up, Chica? I know it's Kurt without even looking at his name when he says, What's up, Chica? How you doing, Kurt? Uh, commercial break, yes. It was because I said we got to find a way to record my dreams. That's why NASA came up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rhiannon, we have to find a way to record your dreams. I swear to God. We will both be like billionaires. Well, mine and yours put together because I have some crazy-ass dreams sometimes. You guys tell me about your dreams. What kind of dreams do you guys have? Something out of this world. I'm so interested to know about people's dreams. It's actually cool. Let me see if Google... T oh, my God, no. No Google. No Google. <laughs> They'll come up with all kinds of shit. I like Google. Scientists did the sleeping device. It's all uh, working. Oh, Kurt, you're always working. What do you do for a living? What do you guys do for a living? I want to know. I want to be nosy. Since you guys know about what I do for a living for my life, I want to know what you guys do in your life. He lies like a rug. He didn't talk to us. Oh, they told on you again. Huh? They told on you again. You did not talk to them. You're telling me the microphone went on again? You gotta get your laptop checked. My laptop? Or whatever you're You gotta machine. get your eyes checked. This is a phone. Yeah, something. Whatever <laughs> I'm gonna pick up. I, I was talking the whole time. <laughs> I love my husband so much. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, I love you, darling. You didn't see all the age rings on me. 180. God, I feel like a young man again. <laughs> Fucking Eric. <laughs> If you're 180, I'm 380. <laughs> We're the same now. Oh, Lord. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> to answer you guys' question, I do. I have a Facebook and Instagram. Everything on my social media is Monica Spirit Queen, pretty much. Monica Spirit Queen. Because I'm the only Spirit Queen on this fucking planet. I should say fucked up planet now. <laughs> I noticed uh, there's been a lot of communication with people and spirits and stuff more and more lately. And sorry, guys, my eyes get watery and then they dry up. I have really bad allergies. Respiratory respiratory therapist and sleep technologist. Ooh, I watch people sleep who have sleep apnea. Also deal with patients with breathing problems. So yeah, story of my life. Holy shit, Kurt. I might be one of your patients. I can't sleep. <laughs> Kurt, I can't sleep at nights. I'm going to be one of your patients. I help people breathe. Well, I have asthma and I still smoke because I'm stubborn. It's hard to explain my dreams. They're so weird. I know mine too. I had the, I had that test. Maria, you had that test? I need somebody. You know what? Rhiannon, you and I need to go to Kurt. You and I. Because if you can record Kurt, if you can record our dreams, oh my God, that'll be like epic. I just followed you online. I'm glad I found this channel. Well, thank you. I'll follow you back. Anybody that follows me on Facebook or Instagram, I follow you guys back. Have a good night too, honey. Sweet dreams. Yeah, we all have to go to Kurt now. See, Kurt, you should have never told us what you do for a living. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm glad you did. That's awesome, though. That's really, really cool. I mean, to be honest, though, I wouldn't be able to do that job, and I'll tell you why. Because I have such a hard time falling asleep because of the work I do. Like, I work at night, and sometimes I work until the sun comes up. That's why my business doesn't open till 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and then on top of that, when my kids start school, they have homeschooling, of course. Um, the last four years, they've had homeschooling, so... I go to bed maybe between 4 or 5 in the morning, 
or five or six in the morning, stretch it out, depending on how much work I have to do, you know, for my client. And then when the sun comes up, a little tear falls out of my eye. I have little tears. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh my God, now I have to be awake. So um, the sun comes up. I wait until about eight o'clock in the morning. My kids have to start school. So after they go to school and they're done with school, in between that time, I have to answer to emails. I have to make some phone calls. Um, a lot of times I literally don't sleep 24 hours around the clock. And then when I finally do have time to go to sleep, I have sleep, sleep insomnia. That means my body is telling me to go to sleep and it's killing me and it's dead and it's gone and it's in a different fucking world at that time. But yet my mind is like, hey, you still have work to do. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. So yeah. I miss sleep. I don't even know what sleep is. My test was on the sleep. Oh, and then that's where I was going. Real quick. Sorry. Real quick. So the reason why I can't do Kurt's job, and, and I don't know how you do it, but God bless you. God fucking bless you. Trust me. If I were to do Kurt's job and watch people sleep and monitor them sleep, I swear to God, I would be snuggling right next to the person that's sleeping and take advantage of that time. Why, I mean, I'm going to be like, hey, he's already being monitored by the fucking computer system, right? Everything's hooked up and they're being monitored. So maybe an hour or two, I'm just going to close my eyes and take a little nap and snuggle next to this person. <laughs> I just want to sleep. My test was on the sleep and my breathing test. I don't even know how I breathe. My husband tells me I snore sometimes. But you know what? I, I, at first, I didn't believe him. Now I believe that I do snore. And I'll tell you why. Because I found out those who are extremely dead-ass tired and want to sleep will pass out with their mouth wide open. And I've done that plenty of times so i believe my husband when he says i snore and there's nothing wrong with that i remember all my dreams i could tell you about the dreams i had when i was a kid <sighs> send me some of your memory girl i need some of your memory my memory is gone i don't even remember what the fuck i ate last night that's really good memory yes we'd be billionaires yeah absolutely yeah, I know when people are dreaming through their brain waves. Oh, it's scary. You don't want to get into my head when I dream. We can see the, oh, I heard about the REM. Yes, the rapid eye movement. I do that. My husband tells me he gets scared. Sometimes he'll wake up at night to go to the bathroom and my eyes are like almost halfway open. And he'll be like, hello, are you awake? <laughs> he tells me I scare him all the time. Of course, I never know what they're dreaming. We just know when they dream. Oh, you don't want to get in my head when I dream. With all the crazy shit that I <laughs> Woo. With all the stuff that I go through. Jesse, cool storyline, yes. It's funny, regular life. Yep, yep. Maria, can you tell me if this place is haunted? What place, honey? What place are you talking about, Maria? My house? My house is always haunted. This place right now? Yes. <laughs> but uh, let me know what place you're talking about, honey. I'd be happy to do a reading and let you know. Also working night shift for almost 17 years. I see a lot of ghosts, goblins, shadow people, sleepwalkers, skinwalkers, nightwalkers, ducks, chickens, buttheads, night shift crazy. Okay. Kurt convinced me. I'm going to go work over there with him. That's my type of place I work at. That's my type of place I would live to work at. Night goblins? Are you kidding me? I fucking love it. I love it. Kurt, hire me. I'm hired. We, I'm definitely working with him. It's old, some uh, old elementary school. 
You're working in an elementary school, Maria? Ducks, chickens, and buttheads. Yes. He got that all right. Ducks, chickens, and buttheads. Absolutely. He got he hit that right on the fucking nail. I had a friend watch me with this with a camera. I stopped breathing. My friend told me and woke me up. My dog holding me a couple times. Oh shit. You might want to get that checked out. But I can't remember anything in my daily life. I feel you. When I was a little girl in a girl's restroom. Well, we want to know a little bit more. Now you got my attention, Maria. Now you got my attention. Old elementary school. Girl's restroom haunted. I want to know what experiences you, you're going to tell me if it's haunted or not, or I'll confirm it right now. Tell me all the shit that happened. I'll confirm it right now. I'm not doing a reading right now, but with everything I'm going to hear from you, I'm going to confirm if it is or not. Holy shit. You know what's funny? Um, I went to a school, my high school, my high school, and I'm going to tell you guys a quick, quick fucked up story. Okay. Nobody knows this about me, but I'm going to say it. I don't give a shit. So in high school, um, my biology class, I fucking hated biology because um, I pretty much thought I knew everything that I had to do with the world, okay? Um, I even had to dissect a frog. Monica, the one that hates blood, blood had to dissect frog, but the frog had no blood in it, thank God. They froze it, they drained it, I don't know what they did with it, it was like rubber and gooey. Anyways. So throughout the year, a uh, couple of times a month, I used to ditch, ditch that class and go hide in the girl's bathroom like every other normal school kid did, right? To a point where my biology teacher said, if you attend the finals and even if you don't pass the finals, I'm going to pass you with a B. Just come to my class. I said, okay, I will. And then I did actually attend one of his classes that we had to dissect the frog, which I thought was kind of, it was, it was weird and cool at the same time. Babe, can you, can you let my baby in? She's crying. And I'll carry her. She's whining. So, long story short, we go to, to the girl's bathroom. And it wasn't the first floor, the second, I mean, the, the third floor, the second floor. It was the first floor bathroom that... <clears throat> My baby, my baby, hold on, my baby, my baby, hi. Okay, this is where she likes to be at, see, she doesn't even move. Anyways, so that fucking bathroom gave me the heebie-jeebies like no other. That bathroom literally made me not want to ditch class anymore, and I'll tell you why. So apparently the school officials found out the trick that we would all hide in the second, third, and first floor bathroom. So what they did, they were one step ahead of us. They were very, very slick. They ended up locking the doors of the second and third floor bathroom. So we had no choice but to hide in the first floor bathroom, and then they would fucking bust us, right? And, I mean, we were fucking kids. We were, like, what, in ninth grade in high school? That was my first grade, <coughs> sorry, first year in high school. So... And I hated biology. I hated my teacher. He was a dick. Um, he hit me over the head with a, a fucking biology book. And it was a hardcover book because I fell asleep in class one day. He was trying to wake me up. And, you know, back in the days, there was no lawsuits going on. Parents wanted school officials to beat our asses if we did something wrong in, in school. Um, so, you know, all the good stuff. But anyways, so... Every time I would go in that goddamn fucking bathroom, and I thank my lucky stars that we got busted in there one time and they started locking up that fucking bathroom too, um, I would hear weird noises. One day I went in there and I swear to God I was doing my makeup just because I was bored and it was that biology period I did not want to go into. So I was doing my fucking makeup and all of a sudden I hear a woman in one of the stalls, I swear to fucking God, that was like, ooh. I mean, just like weird fucking, and I was like, what the hell? 
So I started opening up all the fucking stalls and there's nothing in there. Me being who I am, I kind of got excited. I was like, oh shit, this place is fucking haunted. I got excited up to a fucking point where one day I went down there and I was doing my makeup like I always fucking used to. And all of a sudden, there's a force that hit the fucking mirror. It didn't break it, but it shook the fucking mirror. It hit it so hard. I felt the energy, the force right next to me, right in front of me. It was just all around me. Fucking hit it really hard. It started shaking the fucking mirror. I ran out of that fucking bathroom like a little bitch, okay? And again, I'm only in the ninth grade. But I ran out of that bathroom like a little fucking bitch. And I was like, I will never ditch this class again if this is what I have to fucking deal with. But yeah, I mean, I get your point. Haunted schools? Yeah. I don't fucking doubt haunted schools for one minute. Um, I recently did an investigation. No, no, no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Lay down. There you go. Good girl. Um... I recently did an investigation in one of the schools here and sorry one sec I have to see where she's going can you keep an eye on her of course thank you so um and ooh, the shit that we found in that school mm -hmm. let's just say I had to, it came to a point where I had to like literally cleanse certain parts of that fucking school. It was not cool at all. It was not cool. I literally had to not just cleanse it, but physically get rid of entities that were there. And it wasn't throughout the whole school. It was in certain like particular places and I had to get rid of them and then cleanse it to make sure that when school starts, I just recently did the investigation, when school starts, those fucking kids going back to school are going to be safe. So I know about schools, trust me. When I was a little girl in the girls' restroom, the last res restroom was the only one with the lights out. Woo, lights out. And I was scared to go inside. I should tell you something. That would literally get my heart beating. Hold on, guys. One sec. I want to check something. <clears throat> if you feel like your school is haunted or was haunted and you personally experienced it yourself, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's freaking haunted. Just like my freaking jewelry and necklaces. They keep tingling up. Welcome to your own business. That's all about owning your business, lack of sleep, and bust your butt. But it's usually really rewarding. I know. It is. What I do, I love doing what I do, Eric. I do. It is very rewarding. My reward at the end is when I get an update from my clients and they tell me that they no longer suffer through the spiritual bullshit that they've been suffering through. So that is my reward. <clears throat> you say? Oh crap, my hair is on my arms. Or standing straight up. Yep. Pretty much. I told you, when I tell you guys I live a crazy fucking haunted life, I mean it. Just the other night, I heard whispers while working at computers near 2 a.m. I had to make sure no one was in the hallway and make sure music, speakers, or TV were off. Nobody was around. I just deal with it and carry onward. Okay, now, 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 now. I have to visit your workplace at least one time, Kurt. You need to send me a message of where you work at. Your address. Address. My husband and I will be visiting you shortly. Trust me. 
We fly. We fly. We travel. I will be there. That's my type of place to investigate. I love it. I love haunted places. I just love it. Well, the land used to be owned by Native Americans before it became a Catholic school. Woo! Maria, you said it all. Oh, God bless your soul, child. You said it all, Maria. Yes. There you go. There you go. I get a, I get I get clients a lot of times when they say it's the land was owned by Native Americans before they changed it to something else. Before they built houses, homes, apartments, businesses, buildings, and then all this activities happen. Yeah, very much so. It can be, I'm not even doing a reading right now, okay? I'm not even doing a reading because <coughs> I haven't even connected to you. I have to do a reading to do that. But from everything you're saying, it sounds like it very much, much so was haunted. It was. Ooh. That's another place I would like to investigate, actually. What happened, my love? Hit the remote real quick. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. That's it. What's up, babe? Where is it? I just checked it about 15 minutes ago. Oh, you guys are going to play together? Yeah. yeah cool. No, we'll still play more. No. Oh, no, it's not that time. No, it's only 9.30. Yeah. It's bedtime. It's bedtime? Oh, my God. It was bedtime three and a half minutes ago. See, now he doesn't go to bed till after 1.30 in the morning. I love my kids. I freaking love my kids. I want to hear some ghost stories. I have plenty of ghost stories to tell you guys. I want to hear ghost stories from you guys. Or is it old? Is this old? No, babe. No, babe. No. It's been like it. two Take months. it out there. I'll be out there in a minute to make it. It hasn't been there two months. I just went grocery shopping yesterday. Give me a minute. I'll come make it. But this is like, this was. Do you know how to do it yourself? No, that's a new one. Do you know how to do it yourself? I just went it? grocery shopping yesterday. So yeah. I there's two only. I know. They're, they're packaged. Ones. Because you've been eating them. Oh, my bejeez. Over here in the southeast U.S., there are a lot of unmarked graves where slavery days from more than 100 years ago, commercial and development just go and build over these places. Piss me off. And they wonder why it's haunted. Yep, that'll do it. That'll fucking do it. Yep. <clears throat> My indoor closet, here's Scratch Nails, my closet, there's something weird, my name is not Maria, it's Kim, <clears throat> I'm using someone else's phone, thank you, oh you're welcome, you're very welcome, I wish you would have told me from the beginning that it was Kim, not Maria, but uh, if your closet door or closet has something in it, like mine does at times because I live in a haunted house. Then most likely there's something in it, Kim. Definitely you, uh, if you're experiencing it, then you might want to get that checked out. Some folks have no respect. All they think is money. <sighs> I know, unfortunately. You know all my ghost stories. Holy bejeez. Yes, I do. You do have a ghost story, sis. So why don't you tell them about your ghost story that you had? If you don't mind. If you want.
There are times when you hear something in your closet. Either they're just spirits there or there could be a portal as well. How do you get a reading from me next month? Go to monicaspiritqueen.com. monicaspiritqueen.com and my <coughs> YouTube. I mean, you just got me fuckered up with your cough in the middle of saying something and I forgot. Um, go to monicaspiritqueen.com and go to, like, scroll all the way to the bottom. That's my website. Fill out your information, your name, your phone number, and one or two sentences about wanting a reading with your actual real name and your phone number. And then I'll call you and book you in. I have to come to Salem with you. Hell yeah, I do. You already know. We've been talking about it. You already know I have to come. I'm going to. Mark my fucking words. I'm going to come. I'm coming to Salem. Sometimes I think spirits want to talk to me or drawn to me. When I was little, I didn't know why I was seeing these things or feeling energies. But I guess it's a gift and just build on it. <laughs> well, if you have your spiritual doors open, even just a little crack, they're going to want to... You know, those who are spiritual, who are, who do actually have the spiritual doors open, we do have these radars, these antennas that you don't see. It's radars, and they they send antennas, and the, and the radars send out to spirits that um, let them know that, you know, this person is spiritual. They're not going to go to somebody whose doors are closed and who's a skeptic. They're going to go to somebody whose doors are open and believe in spirits. And then they're going to attach themselves or attempt to attach themselves to you to either give you messages, talk to you, get your attention in every which way they possibly can because they know that you're spiritual. So <clears throat> I won't be surprised at your workplace when spirits want to communicate with you, which I think is cool. Um... Which one? <clears throat> I don't know. Whatever one you want to talk about. You could talk about the demonic attachments you had. You know, the one that I helped you with. <laughs> Kidding. Or, the, or whatever you want. Whatever you want. The horrible nightmare stories. Nobody else has any spiritual encounters that they want to talk about. Any spiritual stories. I like, I like ghost stories. Ghost stories are fun. I like haunted stories. I I watch and read a lot about spiritual documentaries. I'm talking about documentaries, not ghost adventures. <laughs> There's a difference between fake ghost adventures and real spiritual documentaries. I'm spiritual, actually. No, I know. I know what you meant, Kurt. Just got to remember at the end of the day, it's Miller time. Oh, I ran out of my Coronas, you guys. Did I? What? Did I really run out of Coronas? Yep. You Did you really thoroughly check on the kitchen counter yep. and inside the fridge? I looked in the whole damn thing. If you don't believe me, go look. I'm going to go look. Watch this. I took everything out of the fridge looking for you. Looking for me? Yeah. You're looking for me in the fridge? Looking for your beer. I'm out here! Okay. Corona break. I'm gonna go look for my Corona. I know I have at least one left in the fridge. I know it, man. I know I do. I know I do. Okay, you guys chat amongst each other. I'm gonna go get me a Corona. And if I find a fucking Corona, the way I'm gonna open it is on my husband's head.
Deal? What? Deal? What? I said, I'm going to go look for my Corona, and if I find a Corona, I'm going to open it on your head. Yeah, I'll go ahead. You're not find one. I won't find one. Okay. Everybody take bets right now if I'm going to find a Corona or not. Start chit-chatting. Give me two seconds. <clears throat> I'm going to go get my fucking goddamn Corona that my husband says Does we Does that mean have. you're driving to 7-Eleven? No, I'm not driving to 7-Eleven. I'll be back in 45 seconds okay, to a know? minute. I'm going to go find me a Corona. Commercial break. Yes. Rhiannon, tell them about your story. Keep them entertained. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get me my fucking Corona. I would do it for you, but your microphone ain't working very well. Jesse said he's betting, he's betting a dollar that I have a Corona. Jesse don't know shit. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to go get me a Corona. I'm gonna go get me a fucking Corona. I looked through that whole fridge right there. There isn't one. I'm gonna empty the whole fridge right okay, now. Good luck, have one. <laughs> Better you than me. Huh? How much time left? It's got like 10 minutes. What's taking mom so long? Huh? She has to go to the garage. Mom's in the garage? What, does she think Coronas are going to be in a garage? Get out the video of the TV. I mean, the thing. Go tell mom, dad wants to know what you're doing in there.
Hey, babe, your 45 seconds is up. It's the most cutest packet in the world. Yeah, because it's world. actual cheese in there. It's not the powder, remember? It's no. the one with the cheese in it. Here, take it. You got it. You need it for your mac and cheese. No, are you gonna make it? Oh, you want me to make it? You're not gonna make it. Um, I don't have to. Right, I'll make it. I know you don't have to, but you should be able to. You're ten years old. These little shit. I'm back. Why was things moved around here when I was gone? Okay. I believe. I believe. Somebody. Took the last of my Corona. I could have sworn I saw it like two days ago in there. I mean, I haven't drank in days and I just wanted a Corona. It's not there. My Corona's not there. My husband says he wants the dollar. <laughs> I have a ghost story from the hospital. So years ago in training, my preceptor had told me through some doors to the other side of an ICU unit to place medical equipment in storage. I went through the doors and came back to a preceptor and told her I didn't know where it was a whole other side of the ICU with patients and nurses. The preceptor told, looked at me and said, Kurt, that side had been closed for five months. What? No way. Yep, the hospital is a hell of a vortex. I remember one day being in the ER dealing with someone in cardiac arrest, dying later, being in labor and delivering, and delivery assisting a newborn. What? What? I love that story. Holy shit. Hold on, you guys. I'm reading your stories one by one. So you went through it, but yet those doors were closed for five months. There you go. Another per, uh, proof of spirituality right there. The spiritual realm. Right there. Which one of you crazy ones betted my husband a dollar? He said he wants his dollar.
There's no Corona. What happened to it? I know I had one left. I thought I did, unless I was like wishful thinking. <clears throat> That's crazy. Jesse, you owe my husband a dollar. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Okay, let's see other stories. I had 16 demonic attachment and it was literally a hellish nightmare. I couldn't sleep, eat, or anything. It was horrible and terrifying. I've had sleep paralysis since I was 16. Monica got rid of all the attachments and has helped me with my sleep paralysis. Oh, in case you guys didn't know what Monica, Monica who, Monica me. <laughs> yes, I helped and got rid of her 16 attachments. What? Who just sent a dollar? Jesse, was that you? Did somebody just send a dollar? 99 cents? Who just sent a dollar? That's funny. That's cool. I love you guys. Kurt is not a joke what you're going through. No. Um, I think I'm gonna join Kurt at his at his workplace. I would love to visit. I've been pounced on, had bony fingers dug into my shoulder, had my name called, something laid behind me and breathed down my neck, held my hand. Monica taught me to fight back. And not to show fear. Damn right. That's what Monica's here for. I had them for six solid months. True. I'm honestly not even sure how it happened. Doesn't matter how it happened. The fact is that I got rid of your 16 demonic attachments you had. It was very scary, but now I know how to fight back. And it makes me feel better. Good. I'm glad I made you feel better. Very, very, very good. Okay. I got told by nurses they wear a cross to keep bad spirits away. You know what? It's funny you said that because I heard that too. I heard a lot um, of very similar cases working in hospitals, nursing homes, that a lot of the nurses, even the doctors, do wear a cross that's actually blessed by a real priest, not a fake one. And um, they also have some kind of like a charm or some kind of like, um, like a spiritual rock that will protect them. And I think that's, that's really smart for, for you guys to do that. Anyone that works in a hospital. I heard my name to that. Yeah, they do call your name to scare you a little bit more. Demons do do that. Um, for example, I'm, I'm like a perfect example of demons calling my name. With the attachments, the spirits that I have in my house right now that work for me right now, you guys heard it clearly coming through the device that I use. I personally don't use a device when I'm at home because... Obviously, I can communicate with them one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, but I do use a device for regular, normal people. I'm not a normal person. I'm not regular. I don't know what the fuck I am, but uh, I can hear, see, feel, and talk to spirits. But those who can't, I use a device. And just uh, maybe two weeks ago, oh my god, my allergies. Two weeks ago, I had done this device thing where. My name came out, was it two, three days in a row? Well, you guys heard it when I did live. So, yeah, they do say your names. Donnie, someone's getting hurt. Someone's getting hurt. Hey. Hey. Okay. 
Come here, Pierre. Who is it, Max? Lock him up now. Lock him up now. Fucking Max, dude, you guys. He's like this old, grumpy, old fuckface right now, and he doesn't get along with any of his kids. He's too stupid to fucking realize those are his fucking no, babies. I don't care. He should have fucking do that. He's a pit, dude. I can't even say the words right now. I can't because I'm live. He keeps doing this. I'm going to have him get put down. Okay, well, the puppy should leave him the fuck alone. I don't care. And once the puppies are done, you don't have to deal with it. He's a, fucking, a he's a fucking liability on the puppies. It's a liability on me. Getting up out of bed and ruining my show. Hurry up and grow up so you can put those dogs in check. Fucking. I know, I can't wait till my pit bull grows up. He's, she's gonna fuck him up. I, and it's sad to say this because I do. I have I have a dog that's old, that doesn't like to be bothered with. But at the same time, there's no excuse for him to fuck up his babies, the puppies that I have. There's absolutely no excuse for that. Hold on, let me grab him. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. I mean, he looks fine, but hold on. He's fine. He's fine. No, look what he's doing. He's Ooh. going crazy. Pierre. Oh. That's the one who he keeps fucking up, and I'm gonna end the fucking take. I'm I'm real close to taking him to the pound and putting him down. No, I know. You okay? Are you okay, buddy? Hold on, you guys. Can you check him off, please? Hold on. No, he kept rubbing his face on the thing, so I just want to make sure he's okay. Hold on, you guys, one sec. Check his face because he kept rubbing his face on the thing. He's good. Huh. He has a little scratch. That fucking cocksucker. He's going to get his shit when I'm done with life. Your skin's so soft now. Oh, that bath made him so soft. The bath did? Yeah. Yeah. I know I felt it. That's a good shampoo. I see a clown inside the bathroom drain when I was a kid in my old house as a kid. Wow. Yeah, Kim, you might have some shit going on around you, hun. If you want a full reading to find out what's going on, contact me. MonicaSpiritQueen.com Jesse fucking kept his word. He sent you a dollar. <laughs> Jesse sent you a dollar. That's too funny. That's a good man right there. Yeah, you make a bet, you lose it. But can pay it sure, up. Princess but that should teach you never to bet against me. Nope. They're still gonna bet. Not against me. I'm gonna go to 7 Eleven and buy. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. buy a case of Coronas next time. I don't have my headphones in yet, so I can play God it. damn it, here are me. <laughs> Look at this one. Wait, where's Pierre? Uh-huh. Pierre! He's behind his bed. No, he's not. And he's under the bed. Pierre! He's here somewhere, though. Dude, this little dog weighs a pound and a half. Not even that. He's like half a pound. I got my scale. I can weigh him. Oh, people were telling him, yeah, Jesse sent him a dollar. Oh, After buddy. he sent it, though. <laughs> he did. That's awesome. I'm going to spin that dollar, too. My faith pulls me through with prayers. My is are powerful. Keeps me grounded and also helps me cope. Yep. Kurt, me and you are on the same boat when it comes to spirituality. Absolutely. Keep your head up. And you can never give in to spirits. Never ever bow down, give in to spirits. Grumpy old dog, our cats behave that way. I'm living in a building with grumpy seniors. Some were like that too. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't get it. Like the older you get, the more grumpier you are. I don't get that. 
See, the cool thing is, like, for example, like, my grandpa, one of my grandpas. Actually, both my grandpas. I don't know if it was just me that, that got along with them or what. But uh, I've seen my grandpas put family members in their place. I remember one day I was like, I was in my teens and I went to my grandpa's house. And I'm not going to say who, but there was a particular family member that my grandpa fucking could not stand. More than half the family didn't like her. The only reason we decided to cope with her is because she was married into the family. Does it make sense? And so one day, this was Easter. I said the same story to my husband a, a couple years ago. Easter night, we're sitting there enjoying, you know, every Easter we have this family dinner. We drink wine, you know, all the good stuff for Jesus. And um, that family member that got married into our family decides to show up. And my grandpa, <laughs> God rest his soul, he was the toughest military vet on this planet. He stood up. Hey, J-Rod, welcome. He stood up in the middle of dinner and he always sat like at the end of the table where he was the head of the, the lions, you know, and uh, he looked at her as soon as she walked in the door. He looked at her and said, get the fuck out of my house. This is Easter and I'm not going to let you ruin it for us. We were not expecting that. I mean, we know that my grandpa was tough. Really strict, really tough, strong-willed man. A real man, unlike the pussies we have these days, unfortunately, in this world. And he told her, get out of my house. And he didn't care who it was going to affect. I think that's where I get my strong will power from, is for my grandpa. Because he had no filter. He was military strict. I mean... Own guns, everything. Just full on straightforward. Didn't give a shit. If he didn't like a family member, they were not allowed in his house. Just like me. If I don't like somebody and you try to come to my fucking house, I'm going to break both legs. That's it. Both legs will be broken. And the next time you will think about walking into my driveway. So, yeah. The older you get, the grumpier you get. But... Sometimes you have to. I mean, I can't fully blame Max, my dog, because he is an old grumpy old man now. And he's had his fun and days when he was younger playing. And right now he just wants to be left alone. But the puppies don't understand. What really upsets me, too, on both ends, the puppies and the grandpa, is because the puppies don't understand that grandpa needs to be left alone. And grandpa doesn't understand how to... Make the puppies leave them alone. So the way to do it is bark and, and snip at them. And when he snips, the puppy's mother jumps in and fucks him up. And that's how the fight starts. So we have to, throughout the day, about 10 times a day, keep them separated. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I've never been in a situation like this where my animals always fought. But just recently, the last few months, Max just wants to be left alone, which is understandable. But then the puppies want to play with him, which is understandable because they're babies and they don't understand any better. Their dogs don't know age difference. And it just, you know, we have to do what we have to do. We jump in, we yell at them, we separate them, and then that's the end of that for a little bit until around 2 and 3 and 4 comes in throughout the day. And I think it's the same as every other family and household. Okay, sis, go to sleep. Good night. Love you, sweet dreams. Yeah, my grandpa was cool. God rest his soul. I fucking love him. I miss him. But I think that's where I got the side of his toughness, where I'm just 
I'm all out there. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very strict. I have my way set and, you know, anything above that, I don't, I don't accept. One or two in Atlanta. Well, I'm sorry. Am I keeping you guys awake? Maybe the puppy man will understand next time. Don't bother Max when he's eating. No. See, the thing is, Jesse, he wasn't even eating when I went out there earlier looking for my Corona. He was laying by the food bowl. He wasn't even eating. He was just relaxing, kicking back, and he happens to be next to the fucking food bowl. So when I was over there, I kept hearing growling, and the puppies were around the food bowl, but not close to him for him to attack. So I kind of did yell at him, and I said, stop growling. So he did stop, but then apparently maybe the puppies got a little too close, and he snapped. I don't know, but that's what he's been doing lately, and it's fucking annoying. Like, stop, dude. I don't want to be forced to take you and get you put down, but fucking stop. Because I can't afford it for him to hurt any of the puppies and, and give, you know. I noticed though too, like, their mama doesn't allow Max to fully hurt the puppies. Like, the second, within not even two and a half, three seconds, as soon as he starts snipping at them and getting mad, she jumps in and fucks him up. And that's another thing. I don't want Max getting fucked up because the mama is a little bit bigger than Max and she's a lot younger than him. So... She, she will fuck him up and I don't want him doing, uh, I don't want her doing that. I don't want anybody getting hurt. So, you know, that's why we have crates. So at nighttime, everybody's separated and they sleep in their own crates and we don't have to wake up to a fucking goddamn war zone in the house. I heard something Mother Teresa said is good to be in. Or any religion because the faith will help us through the hard times. You said it correct, just like we all get scared. Yeah, I mean, that's what I've been telling people. You're absolutely right. Spirituality is scary. Spirituality is um, tricky. And just like I've been saying in almost every fucking video of mine, people do get scared and it's normal for the unknown. You know what I'm saying? The unknown is scary. That's why people contact me for help. Oh, yes. Training Max not to growl. Cool. Awesome. Good job. Ugh. It's hard, Jesse. It's hard. It's hard to treat it. Treat. Oh, my God. Teach an old man new tricks. It's hard. Max has his way set. I don't think he's ever going to change. That's just who he is. And, you know, when that time comes, he's going to have to be put to sleep. But in the meantime, he's not crippled. You know what I'm saying? You know, those dogs that get put to sleep have heart disease or some kind of a health condition where they can't you know, hang on anymore, and they're they're basically one foot in and one foot out. But for now, I mean, Max seems he's acting normal. Like he's not acting like, I mean, besides his teeth starting to rot out a little bit here and there, it doesn't seem like he needs that <clears throat> medical care where the next step is going to be where he's going to be put to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So we still have some time with him and. We all chipped in and we're trying to like help him out and kind of train him a little bit. But again, you can't train old dog new tricks. I mean, we just have to deal with it until it's his time to go. But right now it's not his time to go. There are times though, there are times when I'm, I, I freak out and I get mad. I'm like, that's it. I'm going to get you to get your ass to get put down. And then I feel bad because then he looks at me like, what did I do? I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay. All right. I'll work with you for the next couple years, but you got to stop attacking your kids. Good night. Love you, sweet dreams. Text me tomorrow.
But anyways, I think I'm going to get going, you guys. Good night, Jesse. Unless you're saying good night to Purple Haze. You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. Uh, what's my heritage? If I tell you, Kurt, I'm going to have to kill you. Good night, Eggman. Everybody's sweet dreams. Um, I don't know if I want to answer that live. Not that I'm ashamed of it. Absolutely not. I'm proud. I'll give you one of them. I have Egyptian in me. I have a little bit of Egyptian in me. You can sense it. Why do you think I'm so strong and powerful spiritually? <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks for the live chat. You're welcome, Jesse. Catch us on the next live. Yeah. So that's that's part of me. The other part we'll just keep it a secret for now. Holy shit. That was the pit bull, the baby. Her name is Santana, by the way. My daughter picked out her name, Santana. She, um, I don't know what the deal is with her. We purchased her from a family that was breeding pit bulls, a red and blue nose mix. And when I looked into it, It's not the people, more so the dogs wouldn't getting along together very well that I looked into. And I think she's having flashbacks and nightmares in her sleep. She's been doing that ever since we got her. She's been yelping and moving around and twitching in her sleep. And then I have to calmly rub her head and wake her up and tell her it's okay. So she wakes up, she snaps out of it, and then she goes back to sleep peacefully again. Okay, baby. You're not there anymore. You're here with us. You're okay, Mama. Now, pit bulls do have feelings, too. You thought I had what? Brazilian? Is that what you mean? Brazilian? No, I don't have Brazilian. But I've heard a lot of people say that, too. People think I'm... Um, Oh, fuck. What is that word that they always call me? Uh, besides Hispanic, I get a lot of people that think on my on my um, TikTok. On my TikTok, a lot of people think I'm Hispanic. Um, and then what's the other one? Fuck, I forgot the name. It's very close to Mexican Hispanic. Help me out, people. I forgot what the, what the name is. Chicana, I think. They call me Chicana. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not Hispanic. But thanks for the compliment. It's actually cool. I have a lot of Hispanic friends, and I fucking love them. Yeah, the baby dog is asleep. He fell asleep in his bed right here in my room. 
Everyone get some rest. Good night. I'm going to go back to work and deal with these patients and chickens and ducks. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next live, Kurt. Keep us updated on the chickens and the ducks. Have a good night. Native American, Latina. That's the word. Thank you. Latina. People think I'm Latina all the time. Oh, my God. I'm not. Not even close. Egyptian and something else, but not even close. But American, I'll tell you that much. American. Spain and French, no. Mm -mm. Not Spain, not French. Even though I would love to go to Paris, I always wanted to go to Paris and see the Eiffel Tower. But Egyptian is one. I'll just tell you guys that much. Obviously, you guys can already see in my eyes with the Egyptian. Native American. That'd be cool if I had some Native American in me, actually. That'd be really fucking cool. I would love to have some Native American in me. They're awesome. I would like it in Paris. Yeah, I know. I've always been drawn to it. I've always been drawn to it. Um, I've always been drawn to Egypt before I found out my background. Um, it's so crazy because I just recently, a couple years ago, I found out about my background and me being part Egyptian. But um, before then, when my husband and I first met, I always told him from so many years, I want to go to Egypt. I want to visit the pyramids. Something about the pyramids and the spirituality there has attracted me since I was a little girl. I've always, always, always wanted to go there. If I can raise enough money, I would definitely go there. Absolutely. And Paris, but I'm going to go to Egypt first. <clears throat> I believe that's where a lot, about, a lot of my spirituality comes from. Both babies are asleep now. Santana is like so cool. Sleeping in my butt. She has to be touching either me or my husband when she's asleep here. It's the closest I came with Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Close enough. Why not? <laughs> Egyptian for sure. And I'm proud of it. I am proud. And you guys, if you do your research, you will know Egyptians are one of the most powerful spiritual people on earth. More powerful than any people claiming to be witches and shaman and whatever the fuck they claim to be. I just claim to be a regular psychic medium. But yeah, Egyptians are one of the most, if not first most powerful people on this planet when it comes to spirituality. Camera ride, try it if you get an opportunity. I was planning on going there with the limo. I'm kidding. I'll try. Hi, what's up? Welcome. What is? How do you pronounce your name? Arkham? Tell me I didn't butcher your name. I'm normally good at butchering people's names. Arkham. I hope I said it right. Yeah, camera rides are cool. I've seen people do it. I might. I don't know. You never know. Why not? I rode horses before. I'm a country girl. Your tickets will be cheaper if you leave from New York. A straight shot from this. Oh, wow. Thanks for letting me know. 
Guess I'll be visiting New York again. <laughs> this time not for a case, for a client to go to Egypt. I did not know that. Thank you for that info. Why do I have 10 billion messages right now? Oh, the screen is so damn bright. <clears throat> So anyways, I'm going to get going, you guys. I've been down here for two and a half hours. Holy shit, time flies. The tickets are cheaper, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm just trying to save money to go there. Let me take care of my house here first. And then once I get everything situated here with my house, then I'll definitely um, start saving. If you guys want to donate, you could donate to help out. I would love to go to Egypt. I've been wanting to go to Egypt for since I was a little girl. It just kept pulling me there. And I studied a lot. I know a lot about that heritage, my heritage. Bus trip. I don't know about a bus trip. I just, I don't have the patience for a bus. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to see what the requirements are and all that good stuff. And what I need to purchase and how to get there. Besides the plane, once I get there, then, you know, I really, 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 really want to go to the pyramids. It's always been my dream. So we'll see. And I want to take my family too. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to let you go, you guys, because it's getting late in. Oh, my God. Now that the puppies are asleep, finally, as you could tell, it's quiet now. I'm going to try to get some rest. Um, I've been up for a couple of days working on cases. If you guys want a reading, contact me at monicaspiritqueen.com, monicaspiritqueen.com. Um, be sure to leave your phone number, your full legal name, not the name that you guys have right here, but your, your actual real name. One or two sentences. Don't write me a book, please. I don't read books. <laughs> don't have time. Um, one or two sentences of why you're contacting me without a phone number. I don't bother to contact you guys back. Your emails automatically get deleted without a phone number. Okay? So leave your phone number with your emails. I will give you a call. Let me know what, you know, what type of reading you're looking for. I do spiritual readings. I do psychic readings, which is in your physical realm right here. What has to do with love life, financial, um, family, friends, you know, all that good stuff. Onyx had low And that couldn't wait until I was done. I just thought I had to share that with you. I know. That couldn't wait until I was done. <clears throat> so, yeah. Contact me at monicaspiritqueen.com. If you guys want a reading, let me know. I'd be happy to book you guys in for a reading. At the same time, if you guys have any kind of spiritual issues, don't send me dumb emails because I'm just going to blast you all over social media. Make your 15 seconds of shame. Of how stupid some people could be, you know. Um, I only take serious inquiries. Let me know if you guys need help spiritually. I'd be happy to help you guys out. And um, get your debit and credit cards ready tomorrow. Because tomorrow night I will be doing live readings. It's $10. I use Cash App. Cash tag is Monica Spirit Queen 143. Monica Spirit Queen 143 for Cash App. Um, get your debit and credit cards ready for tomorrow. And um, anybody that wants a reading, it's going to be $10 per question. I'd be happy to do a reading for you guys. I got to get going. I love you. And I'll see you guys next time.